Final leg, we're here to talk about my top 10 races of 2019. There were so many great races all the way from indoors to outdoors that went down in the year for track and field. Before I give you guys my top 10 though, I want you to go into the comment section below. Let me know what your favorite race from 2019 was, whether it was men, women, indoors, outdoors, on the road, on the track. Let me know what your favorite race from 2019 is. We're gonna jump into my top 10. First off, I have the women's 100 meters from the Jamaican National Championships this year. This turned out to be an amazing race between Elaine Thompson and Shelly Ann Fraser Price. They both went toe to toe to the line in a photo finish running 10.73 seconds. Both of them were given that time but Elaine Thompson managed to come away as the winner. Shelly Ann Fraser Price came up for second. Elaine Thompson is the first time she ran 10.7 since 2017 so two years for her. This was the first time Shelly Ann Fraser Price had run 10.7 since 2015 so over four years for her to run 10.7. She also just gave birth to her first child in 2017 so just two years since then so an amazing performance these times would actually stand as the second fastest times of 2019 the only faster time would be 10.71 from Shelly and Fraser Price at the Doha finals also both these ladies have personal bests of 10.70 so this 10.73 is very close to both their personal bests really really significant time and finally Shelly and Fraser Price coming second actually turned out to be the fastest losing time in the history of the women's 100 meters so amazing performance performance again my number 10 the women's 100 meters at the Jamaican National Championships now at number nine going all the way back to indoors we have the men's 1500 meters at the Birmingham indoor meet this turned out to be an amazing race between two Ethiopians Yomuth Kajelcha and Samuel Tefera producing a world record performance we saw Kajelcha chasing the mile world record all indoor season he just missed it at the Milrose games in New York by just one second missing that mile world record he came here to try and attack the 1500 meter world record almost did it he he led the race from the start all the way up until the final 100 meters in which Tefera took the lead, threw the hammer down, ran away with it in 3 minutes 31.04 seconds, breaking the record set by El Garouge all the way back in 1997. And anytime you break an El Garouge record, it is a huge performance. Kajelcha came up right behind him though, running 331.58 seconds, moving him to number 3 all time in the 1500 meters. So amazing performance. He would actually later on break the mile world record in Boston, running an end route 1500 meters of 331. 1.51 seconds. So Kajelcha coming up for second, but Tefera breaking that world record again, a Hisham El Garouge world record from 1997, 331.04. So both these performances give it my number nine. Now jumping back outdoors, my number eight, I have the men's 110 hurdles at the NCAA championships in Austin, Texas this year. Turned out to be a duel for the ages. We had Grant Holloway going up against Daniel Roberts. They had kind of been going back and forth all season. Actually, right before the NCAAs at the SEC championships, Daniel Roberts managed to get get the win over Grant Holloway but at the NCAAs here Grant Holloway got the best of him in a very clean race he managed to run away with the title in 12.98 seconds that broke the NCAA record that was set 40 years ago by Nehemiah one of the greatest records on the NCAA books huge performance that moved him to number 18 all time in the 110 hurdles but Daniel Roberts was not to be forgotten he also ran 13 seconds flat in the 110 hurdles coming up for seconds that moved him to number 22 all all time in the 110 hurdles and just one hundredth of a second off that NCAA record so amazing performance by both these guys that 12.98 from Holloway and 13 flat from Roberts would hold up as the number one and number two times in the 110 hurdles this year and of course you know Holloway went on to win the world championships in Doha so my number eight again I have the men's 110 hurdles at the NCAA championships now jumping back to indoors at number seven I have the men's 800 meters at the New York City Milrose games this was probably a forgotten race by a lot of people but it turned out to be one of the greatest 800 meter races in history. We had Michael Cerrone. He managed to run 143.98 seconds, making him the second person in history to break 144 indoors, moving him to number two all time, just the second person again to go under 144 since 1997. So amazing performance for him. Then we had Donovan Brazier from the United States. He managed to run an American record of 144.41 seconds, breaking Johnny Gray's American record and moving him to number five all time in the indoor 800 meters. So these two guys really push the pace, showing that they are extremely talented at the 800 meters and are not to be forgotten. Of course, you know Donovan Brazier went on later on in the year to win the 800 meter title at the World Championships in Doha. So again, the men's 800 meters at the Milrose Games in New York comes up for my number seven. Now jumping to number six, I have the men's four by one at the Doha World Championships. This turned out to be an extremely deep race across the board. First off, we had the US 
US team, they managed to take the win in 37.10 seconds, breaking the American record and moving them to number two all time in the four by one, only behind Jamaica, which we of course know have the world record as well as the second best time, but America moving to number two team ever. Then in second place, we had Great Britain. They actually moved to number three all time, running 37.36 seconds, an amazing performance there. But we also had Japan. They moved to number four all time in the four by one, running 37.43 seconds. So amazing performance there. We also had Brazil. They came up for fourth place, making it to the number 10 all time team with 37.72 seconds. So great performance. In addition, not the same race, but in the prelims, we had South Africa. They ran 37.65 seconds, which moved them to number eight all time. So just in the four by one in Doha, we had the number two team, the number three team, the number four team, number eight, and number 10 teams all time in the four by one. So this is definitely my number six race from 2019. So before going into my top five, I have a couple honorable mentions. Safana San in the women's mile in Monaco Diamond League. She managed to run the world record performance there and also dragged along a couple ladies up the all time list as well. She also ran the 3000 meters at the Prefontaine Diamond League going up the all time list as well as bringing some other ladies as well. A great performance there. We also have the men's 5000 meters at the Doha World Championships. This was actually the third time in history that the winning time was under 13 minutes. Only 2003 and 1999 had the winning time gone under 13 minutes. So this is a great performance. In addition, we also have the men's steeplechase at the Doha World Championships. A lot of guys managed to get the best marks for place. And we had a photo finish in the men's 3000 meter steeplechase going down to the wire. So those are just a couple honorable mentions, but let's get into my top five. Now let's jump into the top five. First off, I have the women's 1500 meters in Doha. This turned out to be one of the greatest 1500 meter races in history. First off, we had Sifana San coming back from running the 10,000. She managed to complete the double winning the 10,000 and the 1500 meters, moving to the number six all time with her 351.95 second run. Amazing performance for her, but she dragged the rest of the field to amazing personal best. We had Faith Kipiegon from Kenya coming up for second in 354.22 seconds, moving her to number 11 all time in the event. Then we also had Gudaf Sege from Ethiopia. She managed to run 354.38 seconds, moving her to number 13 all time in the 1500 meters. Then we had Shelby Houlihan from the United States running 354.99, breaking the American record, moving to number 15 all time in the event. So the top four ladies breaking into the top 20 all time, some of the best performances, but this brought on some of the best marks for place ever. We had the best second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, and eleventh best marks for place in the 1500 meters in history. So this is the definition of one of the best races of 2019. Again, the women's 1500 meters at the Doha World Championship. Now for my number four, I have the men's 400 meter hurdles at the Zurich Diamond League. This turned out to live up to the hype that we all expected. Carson Warholm going up against Rye Benjamin, two of the greatest 400 meter hurdlers that we have this year, Carson Warhol managed to run 46.92 seconds, moving him to number two all time in the event, only the third person in history to go under 47 seconds, just about two tenths of a second away from that world record. But Rye Benjamin was just behind, running 46.98 seconds, making him equal number three all time, tied with Samba for the 400 meter hurdles. Both these guys lived up to the hype. They went on to win gold and silver in the 400 meter hurdles in Doha, respectively, and definitely showed that they are some of the greatest hurdlers in history. So again, the men's 400 meter hurdles at the Zurich Diamond League for my number four. Now jumping into my number three, I have the women's 400 meter hurdles at the Doha World Championships. Of course, a world record was broken, so it was so hard for me to put this out only at number three, but we had Delilah Muhammad coming off the world record of 52.20 seconds she set at the USA Championships earlier that year. She came to Doha looking for a world championship win. She not only left with a gold medal, but also another world record, 52.16 seconds, breaking her own world record by about four hundredths of a second. But right behind her, we had Sydney McLaughlin. She managed to improve her personal best by over five tenths of a second, running 52.23 seconds, which is faster than the previous world record before Dalila Muhammad had broken it. So two ladies becoming the two fastest ladies in the history of the event. Again, Dalila Muhammad, 52.16 seconds, and Sydney McLaughlin, 52.23 seconds. Big contrast in styles, but amazing performances by these ladies. Now for my number two, I have the men's marathon in Berlin this year turned out to be one of the greatest races and deepest races in the marathon history. We had Kennedy Sibikele considered to be one of the greatest distance runners in history, has world records at 5,000 meters and 10,000 meters. He managed to run a huge, huge personal best of two hours, one minute and 41 seconds. This 
This was actually just one second away from the world record that Elia Kipchoge broke last year also in Berlin. So huge performance. Many people didn't expect it because of how inconsistent Bekele has been at the marathon over the years since moving to the road. So this was a massive performance for him. But we also can't forget about Buranu Legese. He came up for second place running 2 hours, 2 minutes, and 48 seconds. That moved him to number 3 all time in the marathon, only behind now Bekele as well as Kipchoge. So an amazing race from both of these guys. Again, because of how fast both of them ran, probably one of the fastest races for the top two in the history of the marathon definitely comes in at my number two. Now, ending things off with my number one, a lot of you guys can probably guess it's the women's 400 meters at the Doha World Championships. This proved to be one of the deepest 400 meter races in the history of the event. We had Shawna miller Weibo coming into the event probably as a favorite. She hadn't lost a race since 2017. People were predicting her to run at least like 48 mid or so in that range, but Saul Nasser, who had also been running extremely fast, she was not to be forgotten, and she came here and dominated, went out extremely fast, managed to hold it down the street, came away with a huge personal best of 48.18 seconds, moving her to number three all time in the event. Only two ladies who ran back all the way in the 80s had run faster than her, but Shawna miller Weibo was not to be forgotten. She also managed to run a huge personal best of 48.37 seconds, moving her to number six all time in the event. So both these ladies ran extremely fast. Shawnee Miller Weibo probably exceeded the expectations based on what people thought she would run to win this race and only came up for a second. Now it has to be noted from the top six ladies all time in the event, Shawnee Miller Weibo, Marie Jose Perec, and Nasser. Aside from those three, we have Brizgina, we have Koch, and we have Kratashvilova. Those three ladies were running and set their personal best back in the 80s from the Eastern Bloc when there was a lot of state sponsored doping that was going on. Of course they were never convicted and their marks still stand on the books but I think it has to be noted to put this race into context to show how significant Shawnee miller and Saul Inasser just ran. They are on the brink of breaking 48 seconds and we might be seeing that in the next couple years. We can never forget about what happened behind them though. That wouldn't make this an amazing race if it wasn't fast behind them. Sharika Jackson from Jamaica she managed to set a huge personal best of 49.47 seconds. That makes her the number three Jamaican all time and is just about two tenths of a second away from breaking the Jamaican national record. In fourth place we also had Wadlin Jonathan from the United States. Earlier this season she managed to win the NCAAs but she came here and set a huge personal best of 49.60 seconds. In fifth place behind her we had Phyllis Francis the 2017 world champion who back then to win those world champs ran a personal best of 49.92 seconds. Here she came fifth and ran a massive personal best of 49.61 seconds. So the top five ladies really showing the depth and the amazing performances in this 400 meter race. Definitely going to be one that's going to be hard to match for the years to come, but these ladies are very young and definitely going to be running much faster. So my number one race for 2019, the women's 400 meters at the Doha World Championships. All right, so those are my top 10 races for 2019. Of course, all these can be interchanged. Honorable mentions can be put on the top 10. These were just my personal favorites. There's probably some races that I left out. Again, go to the comments below. Let me know what your favorite race from 2019 was and let me know why as well all right like the video subscribe to the channel and we'll be back again in the next video thanks